So I'm back on set and I just happened to hear Melissa and Julie just talking about how much they missed me. It was so crazy. Julie, tell them again. Tell them again how much you missed me. Fantastic. And no, tell them again how much you missed me. There we go. You see? It's crazy. I just... I, I... Happy birthday to you. Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the latest set photos because we've got our first official look at Melissa Benoist as Supergirl and we've got to break this all down so I'm super excited to talk about this so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So exciting stuff guys, Melissa is back, she is finally back on the set. Well, we know that she's been filming for a while. She's been back since January 18th, but she hasn't been with the main cast. However, the last two days completely changed this, as we got two behind the scenes videos from two different people, that being Jesse Raff and Staz Nair. So, we see Melissa in these videos. One of the videos was for Jesse's birthday. They were all singing happy birthday to him and that was posted on his story on Instagram and Staz literally like an hour ago or so literally posted a story because they're shooting right now and I played that at the start of the video so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. But yes, I can't tell you how exciting it is that we're finally getting some Melissa content because we haven't seen anything in a long time. It's been complete radio silence in regards to her returning as Supergirl and seeing anything actually because Melissa hasn't posted anything online but suddenly in two days we got two set videos including Melissa and she's got some breaking news herself. We're going to be breaking down Melissa's own news towards the end of this video but we're going to go over what these photos and videos suggest in regards to Melissa returning and what could be going on. So yes, let's go ahead and get into Jesse's video first. So Jesse's video, again, was a birthday video. It was everyone singing happy birthday on the set. You had basically all of the main cast there. I believe that they're in the tower and they've been shooting quite a lot of scenes in the tower throughout the last week or so. As we saw that video the other day with David wrapping his episode, again, in that video I said, Melissa isn't in that video, but she will be in some next week. And what do you know, she returns yesterday to the main cast and there's already two videos up. So, you know, really exciting for us fans, especially. And now what do these videos suggest? Well, if we look carefully, you can see that Melissa is still wearing the same suit as last season. Unless there are some small alterations that are going to be made later in the season, later in the year, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, from this angle, it does seem like it is the same suit from last season. So the pants, no skirt, and there is no actual alterations to the suit. So it looks like they're continuing onwards with this suit. And then also what you can tell, and I think the biggest takeaway, apart from being excited that Melissa is finally back with the main cast, she's going to be filming, I'm sure they're going to head downtown in Vancouver very soon to do some outdoor shoots, and hopefully we get some good quality photos, because again, these set videos aren't the best of quality, and I don't know if the cast members' cameras are just potatoes or something, but they never seem to be that good. However, we will take what we get, right? Especially us fans. And so, yeah, the biggest takeaway from this is Melissa 100% doesn't have bangs. That is not going to be happening in this season. Supergirl is going to be changing her hair back to the season 3, the season 2, the season 1 hairstyle. And that is so, so exciting. And I'll tell you why it's exciting. Because it's very classic and I feel like it's very nostalgic and it's going to be Supergirl's last season. And I think this is going to be a good shift back for the fans because it's just a fan favorite kind of style, I guess. And obviously it's all down to personal preference and I would want whatever Melissa wants. I wouldn't be like, oh, she has bangs, like I hate that. I want the original hairstyle, but I'm going to be honest, I think most of us are pretty pleased that they're going back with this original hairstyle because it is nostalgic and it is going to be our final season. So we've pretty much known and theorized about this for quite a while now that Melissa wouldn't have bangs in this season as Supergirl and Kara, and that is because Melissa's stunt double, who was seen filming 
before Melissa even came back because remember they could do a few action scenes and Melissa wouldn't have to be in there unless it was something that was like a close-up or something that was a still shot. So in any fast-paced action scene, she has been replacing her for the past few months and we've seen from her photos on Instagram that she hasn't had bangs in a long time and therefore we can assume that Melissa wasn't going to have bangs in the season and again obviously this is just talking about hair and hairstyles like who really cares at the end of the day but you know I think whilst we have barely any information on Supergirl we'll take what we get and this is actually kind of a big thing in my opinion but anyway let's move on to the next thing about this specific video that was released now whilst our main cast is there and we see a bunch of people this is interesting because in the background there is one person wearing a mask obviously who we can't really track down because he's definitely not a crew member, right? He's not like one of the camera team or anything like that or a props guy. He's in a costume. He is someone who is going to be important to at least a couple of episodes I would presume. And so who could this person be? So some people online were theorizing that this was Staz, but actually Staz only returned to filming today and this video was filmed yesterday, so it's definitely not Staz, and it kind of doesn't look like Staz to me. And I think the costume gives it away. As this looks very familiar to the photo you're seeing on the screen right here, to none other than Kara's father, Zorel. Now, this looks very similar. Like, he is head to toe in blue, exactly how Zorel would dress when we've seen him in the past. And he looks very similar. He looks about the right height. He is taller than Melissa taller than Jesse and you know they're pretty similar sizes as far as I know and I think it's just that costume you know that costume looks very very Kryptonian so what happens if it is Zorel now how the hell would he be back well it could be him or it could be another Kryptonian and we know that in the episode before this there is a spaceship so does someone land in the spaceship and is this someone this person is it Zorel or could it be another Kryptonian and if it is another Kryptonian it could be someone from Argo because it was referenced after Crisis that Argo is still up there. So what happens if another Kryptonian comes? I would be totally down for that and I think it's very very likely considering you know the spaceship storyline in the episode before. Go check out yesterday's video because we talked about that and we broke it down. That is actually David Harewood's episode that he directed and this is the episode afterwards. So could this be a Kryptonian inside the tower? This person definitely is a cast member. And no, it's not that Nick guy because he's not on set. He has been auditioning because it's pilot season and he's not a main cast member. He just appeared in a couple of episodes, I think as a bartender. So yeah, crazy stuff going on, but let's move on to the next video. So this is our first look at Melissa in full costume, obviously not in the Supergirl gear, but she's in Kara Danvers' gear. And so this was from Staz, who returned to film actually today. And so there was this funny video that he made and he posted it, Julie Gonzalo was in there. So she's gonna be in this season, that being Andrea and also Melissa as Kara Danvers. And the location definitely looks like this is cat code because Kara is dressed up in her reporter gear. But yeah, you see Melissa laughing as Staz messes around and yeah, it's just very exciting that we get two days in a row where we've had a complete dry streak of no Melissa content on Supergirl for such a long time. Like, I'm talking months and months and months, nearly a whole year. So, I'm just really excited that I get to share this with you guys. But yeah, let me know down in the comments down below what do you think about all of this in regards to Melissa. Now, moving on to the next big thing in regards to Melissa, and this is her overall deal with Warner Brothers. So... Obviously, we know that Supergirl is ending at the end of the season, and we know that Melissa was going to move on to something else, and it seems she has set what she wants to do, because it was just released via Deadline that Melissa Benoist launches production company and signs overall deal with Warner Brothers Television. Now, if you didn't know Warner Brothers Television, they run the CW. Well, they're part of Warner Brothers. So Melissa has a long-standing relationship with Warner Brothers, especially over the last six years, and so she's going to be stepping into a more producer role with her contract with Warner Brothers, this TV deal. So I'm wondering with this announcement, do we get to see her returning to the CW, but in a producer role, writing some of the shows, show running the show? That would be interesting because what happens if she wants to do like a Supergirl spin-off or something? 
Obviously, I don't think that is what she signed up to do, but there is definitely a chance because she is working under the banner of Warner Brothers still. So if she ever wants to come back and she wants to create a show, I'm sure they're going to go for it. And so what happens if we get like a Legion show? I think I'm going to make an extra video on this because I think this whole topic deserves to be talked about a lot because she's still going to be under the Warner Brothers banner, which is very, very exciting to me because it opens up a lot of possibilities and I'm just looking forward to seeing what she does next. So I'm happy that she gets to go into more of a creative role and that she has this power to be like, yes, I want to do this. I want to, you know, make TV shows. I want to be a part of the creative side of it rather than just in front of the camera. But it does give her a chance to return in front of the camera as well in whatever show or shows she intends to make. And whether it's the CW or not, there is definitely a chance, but we'll get into spin-off ideas maybe in a few videos time. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video and you're excited Melissa is back and you're excited about Melissa's deal with Warner Brothers, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you're new and you haven't done that. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.